Welcome to Black Children's Books Read Aloud. Today, we have the pleasure of reading It's Brave to Cry, written by Rebecca Robinson, illustrated by Emanuela Natamak. When Clay came home from school, he was in a very grumpy mood. He tossed his backpack on an empty chair, plopped down to the floor, and let out a big hmm. hmm. What's wrong, Clay? His dad asked. You seem upset. A lot happened today at school. I dropped my lunch on the floor and everyone laughed at me. And then I missed a game winning shot during recess. But also, I was just sad. I miss my old friends and my old school. I wanted to cry all day, but I didn't. Now, I feel mad. That does sound like a frustrating and confusing day, said Clay's dad. But Clay, why do you feel like you have to hold in all those emotions for so long? Do you see how upset you are after holding in these big feelings? It's okay to cry sometimes and let it out. Actually, it's brave to cry. Everyone at school says that big kids don't cry. Only big babies do, Clay moaned. And anyway, if someone is brave, doesn't that mean they have to be tough or fearless? Those people don't cry. Well, who are some of the bravest people you can think of? Asked his dad. The bravest people I can think of. Well, firefighters are pretty brave. They save people every day and run into flaming buildings. And once I saw a man washing a window on a super tall building. That guy is totally brave. It must also take a lot of guts to fly a plane or to scuba dive with sharks. And once, my teacher, Mr. Darrell, told me he gave a speech to over 600 people. I always thought that was brave, too. I'm pretty sure these people are way too brave to ever cry. Well, why don't you just try asking them? Just to be sure, suggested Clay's dad. Clay decided to give it a shot. They grabbed their jackets and took a walk down the street to the local fire department. A firefighter was outside cleaning a big red fire truck and whistling a song. Clay was a little shy. His dad nodded and gave him a wink. Clay needed to be brave to ask his question. Slowly, he walked over to the back tire where the fireman was standing. In Clay's small voice, he asked, Can you help me with something? I know firefighters are really brave, but do firefighters ever cry? Crying helps me put out the flames that I feel in my heart and in my stomach. It also makes it easier for me to breathe through my smoky thoughts. I never hold in those tears, said the firefighter. Clay was no longer feeling shy. Instead, he felt very confused. So he asked, But why? Don't you feel like you should just keep the fire feeling inside? Why cry, you ask? Tears are my fire extinguisher for heavy feelings. And if I don't put out that fire, it will only get bigger. So if crying helps to put that fire out, that is always the brave thing to do. Well, if you say so, I suppose firefighters can cry and be brave, Clay concluded and left with his dad. Clay stopped at the aquarium next. Inside, he saw a scuba diver swimming with all types of sea creatures. With a little more confidence now to speak up, Clay tapped on the glass. Can you help me with something? I know scuba divers are really brave, but do scuba divers ever cry? An ocean's worth of tears. Sometimes 
I become overwhelmed with many different feelings. Excited, nervous, happy, and scared all at once. And shouting just doesn't do the trick like crying does. And before Clay could ask anything else, she swam away with the fish. Well, if you say so, he whispered to himself. I suppose scuba divers can cry and be brave too. Continuing their walk, Clay saw a small plane land in a big field. He ran over to see a very tall pilot with a shiny badge and big sunglasses. Clay, who was now getting used to being brave and speaking up, cleared his throat <clears> and <throat> said, Excuse me, even though you have to be brave to fly a plane, do pilots ever cry? My tears can be stormy or a light sprinkle, she said, and when they come, I know it's time to talk through my feelings before a bigger storm forms, which makes me feel brave. And just like how I can't fly my plane without the help of my co-pilot and crew, I need help talking through my tears. You should try too. A friend, a teacher, or a parent is a great place to start. I bet you will feel pretty brave after doing that. Well, if you say so, I suppose pilots can cry and be brave too. Clay decided that it was time to walk back home. He had a lot to think about. He never knew that all of these people who he thought were really brave also cried. And part of what made them so brave was that they weren't afraid to cry. Close by his house, Clay saw a man hanging from a building high up in the clouds. He was wiping down the windows and wearing a yellow hat. Hey mister, Clay yelled. I know you must be really brave to be up that high, but do you ever cry? Hello down there, the window washer echoed. Like rain, tears don't come every day, so I've learned to appreciate them when they do. Just like how rain helps the plant and trees grow, from every tear I've cried, I've also grown. I've grown stronger, wiser, and more aware of my own feelings. Although I try not to when I am working so high, I do in fact still cry. And as the window washer got higher and higher, his voice became softer and softer. Whoa, Clay whispered to himself. I bet if he can be that brave to be that high in the sky and sometimes cry, I can be brave and cry too. When Clay returned home, he saw his second grade teacher standing outside. He was wearing a big polka dot bow tie and carrying his signature briefcase. Mr. Darrell, you're at my house. And before I ask why, can I ask you something? I've talked to many brave people this afternoon, but not to you. So my question for you is, do you cry too? Oh, Clay, said Mr. Darrell, what a great question. My tears wash away temporary pain and once released, I'm given a fresh new start. People cry for different reasons and tears look different too. There are tears of joy, sadness, anger, and many other reasons. Sometimes, they're not always physical tears. Sometimes our hearts cry. A teacher's heart cries when our students cry. My heart cries for every young child that hasn't realized his or her potential. But I can tell you're on the right path, Clay. You are also brave, and it is very brave to cry. Even when you drop your lunch on the floor and everyone laughs? Or when you miss the game winning shot? Or when you miss the way things used to be? Clay asked. Mr. Darrell smiled. What's brave is letting it out, being vulnerable, and asking for help. Clay knew that Mr. Darrell was right, and his dad, the firefighter, scuba diver, pilot, and window washer were all right too. 
Crying, after all, is a brave thing to do. So what are you going to say to everyone at school? asks Clay's dad. People cry for different reasons, but that doesn't make anyone less brave. I know I can take a break to cry and that it's okay to not feel okay sometimes. Because hiding your feelings isn't brave. Letting them out is. Now why are you crying, Dad? I'm proud of you, Clay. These are my happy tears. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Most importantly, please support the author by purchasing their book. Until next time.